Today I'm going to show you how to easily clear the Lunar New Year challenge. What's going on my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show and this challenge was built by the 2023 Clash World Champions which comes with some free loot and a research potion plus 25 gem reward if you 3 star. Also featured in this challenge is the new Dragon Champion skin which will be in the February Gold Pass as well as the new Dragon King, Dragon Queen and Dragon Warden skins which will come later in the month. So be sure to use code Clash Joe if you would like to support my channel. So we're going to get started on the right side by selecting the balloons and we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to take down that mortar, then follow that up by dropping the flame flinger in the corner. Now that's going to work on that side of the base. Let's go up top and let's grab those bat spells. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and drop a rage on top of the monoliths, followed by the electro dragon in the upper corner to start clearing buildings up here. Bats are going to come around taking down the monoliths, going through the the hidden Tesla is super fast and they all should go towards the left side of the base. Let's go ahead and select our free spells and get ready for them to take on Inferno Tower. Let's go ahead and drop that on the Inferno Tower to try to protect them a little slow. And we're going to continue to freeze this section for two more times. So drop it again, taking down the Inferno Tower and then freeze these hidden Teslas. And we might be able to take down that ricochet cannon. We might not. It doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and select our Valkyrie and we're going to drop the Valkyrie to help the Electro Dragon up top. Let's go ahead and drop our Barbarian King, Archer Queen, Ice Golem on the Mortar, then all of the Dragons, like so. Then the Balloon. Make sure your Warden's on Air Mode and drop the Warden to follow them up. Now they're gonna continue to travel across the bottom of this base. So we can go ahead and activate the King's ability to spawn some Barbarians because he does have Barbarian Puppet. And let's go ahead and use that Queen's ability as well. That way she activates and pulls out the healers. Now it looks like our Dragons did venture off just a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. They're gonna take on an Elixir Storage and the rest of them are gonna continue to travel down towards that Defensive Queen on the bottom, also taking on the defensive super dragon. Now once they get in range of that defensive queen, let's go ahead and use the warden's ability like so. And we're gonna send the royal champion in to take on the town hall. Now we have two invisibility spells, so we can use one to protect her once she locks on. Well, it doesn't really matter actually. <laughs> it looks like there's not a lot of health left on the town hall. So let's go ahead and use her ability to get her health back up. She's gonna continue to travel across the base and we can use an invisibility right here to protect her versus the hidden Tesla air defense, etc. And honestly, I don't even think we need the remaining invisibility spell. From here on, we could probably kick back and relax and wait for the three star. 